I want to make a point that's bigger than the mind behind us here because it goes to exactly what you guys have been just nailing every day on Tech Check, and that is technologies and supply chain issues. Okay, semiconductors. You guys have been all over that. Elon Musk on the Tesla conference call this morning warning about supply chains. Now, these are not semiconductors. The minerals that are grown here, they go into something that maybe are the next semiconductors, if you will, and that is magnets. If you remember the movie The Graduate, Dustin Hoffman, the dad comes over and says, Benjamin, I got one word for you, plastics. I think if that movie was remade today, they might say the word is magnets. Because anything you want, all the stuff you guys talk about, AirPods, iPhones, iPads, Teslas, renewable energy, wind turbines, even dentures and MRI machines and military applications require very specific magnets. Call them Neo Magnets or NDPR. You're going to be hearing a lot more about this. And MP Materials is the only producer of the elements in America that go into those key magnets. Jim Latinsky, I guess now a former hedge fund manager, he bought this mine for 36 million bucks a couple years ago out of bankruptcy from Molly Corp, turned it around. He believes that the minerals here and magnets are the next industrial revolution. It's really just helping pave the path for the fourth industrial revolution as we decarbonize and electrify. So if it's uh, an electric vehicle, a wind turbine, a drone, a robot, um, it's likely that rare earth magnets are going to be uh, needed. Now, Carl, what they dig out of this hole behind me, I mean, and just look at this hole, by the way, we we're here two years ago, it's gotten deeper, is still shipped to China for processing. You guys just talked about China's regulatory crackdown on technology. China controls 85% of the market for rare earth minerals, this stuff and others, and pretty much all the processing. Next year, MP should have their processor here opening, which basically means they can make the raw materials to make the magnets eventually. But imagine if China cracked down on rare earth exports, Carl. Imagine if they suddenly said, you know what? We're going to keep it all in. All the stuff we talk about in the electrification of the future of America, all those electric cars that we want to drive, you're not going to be able to make them. And you might have car makers who say, you know what, Mr. Quintanilla, we want to give you an electric car, but we can't because we have a shortage of magnets. We can't make the motor. That's why mines like this, the only operating rare earth mine in America, still are so critical.